Okay, this video is going to cover system settings in central administration. So go ahead and pull up your central administration site. And when you're there, click on the system settings link. So you have three main bullet points here. You have servers, email and text messaging, and farm management. So under servers, uh, you have two options. That's manage servers in this farm, which allows you to look and see what servers are attached to the farm. Um, it also shows you the configuration database version, configuration database server, and the configuration database name. And as I said before, whenever you have databases in SharePoint, if you can name them yourself, feel free, because otherwise you end up with this long GUID afterwards. So you can go in and see um, on my server named SP, I have the following services running. There's no action required, and I could even remove the server from the farm. This, this uh, option for servers and farm is really applicable if you have an actual farm. Right now, I'm running mine in standalone um, as my video series um, on setting up an environment uh, walked you through doing. So everything's running on one server, which is why we only saw one there. Um, manage services on server allows you to manage the specific services that are running on that server. So you select the server. In this case, we just have one. And then you can choose to enable or disable services on each specific server. So if you want to have... Uh, if you have three servers, you have an application, a front end, and a database server. Um, the database server doesn't run any services. The uh, web front end would run the uh, SharePoint Foundation web application and maybe the distributed cache and, you know, a couple other ones. And then the application server would run all of them or, you know, specific ones that you want for that application server, depending on how many you have and what role you want those to play. So that lets you decide, uh, manage the servers and the services running on those servers. Email and text messaging is another cool feature in SharePoint for alerts, for um, quota, uh, uh, quota, what do you call it? Quota management. Uh, if a user has a site that's going over its quota, it'll email them. Um, for workflows and everything else, you'll want to configure your outbound SMTP server here. You'll need to configure that um, to not require authentication. And that way you can make sure that these emails do get to the right person and that you don't have any issues with email being sent out. Incoming email is a whole nother ball game. Um, as you can see, something went wrong there. For incoming email, that's so you can set up an email address for a library or a list and um, send an email to it with a file attached. It'll enter that into the list. So it's kind of convoluted and it's outside the scope of this video and probably most of my lessons, but it's a good feature to enable. Um, mobile account allows you to set up a text messaging provider so that you can send text messages out to users, either to their email address or their phone number, however it's configured. Um, let's see, what's next? Other than email and SMS, I think we have farm management. We'll see. Yeah, farm management. And this is where you can configure your alternate access mappings. I think we went over those earlier. Um, but if not, basically it lets you enter a separate URL for your web application. So instead of SP, I could put uh, sp.simplifiedsharepoint.com, set that as an alternate access mapping, and then it would I'd be able to access my site that way. It's just a way of adding a URL. And those are very important, so you'll want to take a look at those. And I'll do videos on those later on. Manage farm features. This allows you to go in and set what features you want enabled in your farm. So if you want to enable site mailboxes, We'd activate this feature and then go in and we could set up incoming email. You can set up the user profile settings, um, social tags and note board, ribbon controls. It lets you basically enable what features you want on that farm. If you want it just a lockdown simple thing, you can do that. Um, just depending on what features you enable. Farm solutions. These are, solution is basically a WSP or a web part or an application that you want to upload and use within SharePoint. Um, that's mainly focused on uh, something that developers would use. User solutions are solutions that users upload. So farm solutions deal with the whole farm. User solutions deal with sites and site collections. Privacy options and cross firewall zone access um, or cross firewall access zones. Cross firewall access zone allows you to set up if you have a DMZ, you can put a server out that's exposed to the internet and have it cross the firewall to access the SharePoint farm. And that's here. So you'd set all this up and set up a zone to, um, to be a cross-firewall zone. 
For privacy options, you can set up whether you want to sign up for the customer experience improvement program, uh, set up Microsoft error reporting, and display help from external websites um, as specified by each help collection. So if on SharePoint, if you click the help button in the top right corner, you'll get a pop-up with SharePoint help, and that's your, your own server-based help. All these help uh, topics are installed on the server, but you can have it externally go to Microsoft if you want. We have that set up. So that's really all there is to system settings. We're going to go into some other videos later on that will uh, talk about each of these features and how to set those up correctly. But that's pretty much your overview for the central administration system settings. So hope that was informative and be sure to check out other videos.